Okay, look what has arrived. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So this is a nice little pick-me-up. Getting our furniture delivered for our closet. I think it was seven months we ordered this furniture back in February. And this is for our closet. Custom rustic wood furniture. Made in the USA. It's taken a long time to get here. But finally, we have our main pieces for our closet. So now the challenge is getting them inside. So first I have to clean out the closet. That is full of Brian's tools for the shower. <laughs> so let's clean that out. And then I'll think about pulling the drawers out before Brian gets home and then we can just load them in there. Okay, so here's the current status of the closet. Um, not much room for furniture. We're filled with tools and well, what I had for clothes here. Um, my operating system for the last four years, but we are ready to install our nice furniture. And so that means a little bit of cleanup has to happen. Woo. This nice piece of furniture, wow we solid. This thing's gonna be heavy. Nice, heavy duty drawer pulls. Soft closure. <laughs> solid wood drawers. This is nice big four drawer unit. Nice, nice detail on it. Anyhow, got to take out the drawers to be able to carry that inside. So we've got two pieces like this. The other one's right here and then the bigger piece over here. So I'm gonna take the wrapping off all these. But let me show you something. You would think that companies that, that the makers that hand make this furniture and the set that costs thousands of dollars, they would do a better job packaging now it looks like on the outside it's packaged well, but look at the platform that it came on. Uh, and we did see a little bit of damage in shipping. So the uh, platform, you know, I'm not even going to call it a pallet because the pallet is half inch weak plywood with no center support. There's one, there's one two by four right here, but nothing the entire length of the platform. So absolutely no support. So when the FedEx folks tried to lift it onto the truck, their forklift just doesn't reach all the way to the other side of that. And um, well, I'll, I'll point out some of the damage that I saw on this unit. It's on the bottom, but uh, unfortunate. To, oh, and actually it's on this one. Look at a scuff right here. Now it's not a huge ding, but nothing you want to see after you just paid a thousand dollars for a piece of furniture. So we can put some stain on that and it'll, it's going to be sideways in the closet so we're not even going to see it but definitely unfortunate to see that happen after as long as we've waited since february for this piece to be shipped and well there you go and there was a little chip on the leg right here so that happened on this piece so that was a bummer but not on the front and not really visible and once you stay in it well you'll never know it's there but that was a bummer when we got that off the truck luckily i did find the chip so i can glue it back on all right, so I was able to get the drawers out and they're a little tricky. One side you push up on the lever and the other side you push down on the lever. Anyhow, this puppy is still plenty heavy, even with the drawers out. So me and Brian are gonna have time getting that in the house. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say 70 pounds, maybe 80. <laughs> Brian's getting home, so I'm gonna catch his reaction as soon as he pulls in here to all the furniture I got unloaded, unpacked, <laughs> and the drawers out. 
So he's going to be very curious. I'm going to be curious about his opinion of the workmanship because I think he's going to have some things to say about the detail work. Let's see. They didn't ship any drawers. Yeah. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> uh, man, look at that damage some, on that crate. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so bad. The FedEx guy goes, we've had the same size forklift for 30 years. You'd yeah. think that suppliers would make the right kind of pallet that would have the right kind of support. No, no support in the middle. Oh, my God. Nothing. Is that, I mean, the, it was like 750 pounds. There's no way... I know. A piece of sheeting is going to su support that. Yeah, half inch. <laughs> it was He was ripping it apart with his bare hands. Oh, my God. So. Oh. But. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Total crap. But. The well, it's actually three quarters, but so <laughs> It's not going to. I mean, you got two supports pushing that thing up. Mm-hmm. So, this piece is good and yeah, nice. It's really and... nice. Mm-hmm. It was tricky getting the drawers out. Yeah. One of them you pull up on, and the other one you push down on. Oh, okay. So, it's really <laughs> tricky. But I figured it out. And the ones that were stuck, I just had to wiggle them a little bit more. Yeah. So, this is the one that had the damage. Now, I just noticed this. <laughs> when I was pulling yeah. out the drawer, which I don't think was caused by the forklift at all. No. Must have just had, so we could just pick it off or... Yeah, well, you know. glue it back on. It's about to fall off anywhere. It's about to fall off. So the damage was the scuff right there. Okay. It's just more of like a scuff. Yeah. Really. And then the inside of the leg, there's the chip. Yeah. And that's so. from underneath. Pressure from underneath right. chipped that off. Yeah. So I see well, the we chip. Can, yeah, we can glue that. So that was it. The rest of it's okay. just... Uh, just um, little details from the custom workmanship that you'll probably be like, what the hell? Why'd they do that? No. <laughs> like, I was just noticing on the back side, not the stain marks, but yeah. these two are stained, but that one, they didn't bother staining all the way. No. <laughs> what the hell? It's like, okay, well. I mean, why, why? I don't know. Go through the effort of it and then just yeah. not do it. It's like, oh, wait, I'm staining it. Oh, but I don't have to do a good job. I'll just yeah. leave it crappy. Yeah. Oh well, and then you can look at the drawers. Pretty good. I'm surprised they're not dovetail. That's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty weak. Yeah, I know. I was like, huh, oh, not dovetail, eh? And just you know, some some spacing and not that bad. Some of the wood. There's a yeah. couple pieces that were like, what? They just screwed together. Yeah. But the hardware is nice. The poles are nice. Yeah. I already cleaned out the closet. Oh, wow. Sweet. <laughs> it's it's pretty see. stout pine. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell the the faces have some curvature to them. So. Mm-hmm. Cool. Should work on their planing. <laughs> Get stuff flat. <laughs> Can't say it was a rush job, though. No. <laughs> Seven S months. Six months. Six months.
Whoa, look at it. Whoa, it's so tall. Nice. Yeah. All right, so let's give folks a little review of our experience. This was, the company was? Log Furniture Place. Log Furniture Place. Dot com. Dot com. So, All right. So initial impressions, I, you know, I like the appearance, very uh, rustic, like we wanted, rough sawn with a little bit of sanding to, you know, make sure you're not getting splinters and stuff. Um, the uh, handles are very nice and solid, you know, mm -hmm. you're not going to. It's not, uh, it's solid metal. It's not a little wimpy pull. Mm -hmm. So uh, the one thing <coughs> we can show you is that this, the color is not what showed in the picture. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit darker. It's darker than Yeah, the, it's a really dark, dark brown. It should be more like, uh, like that part in there. Mm -hmm. More, more of the lighter and less of the dark. Mm -hmm. So, um. But yeah, I think uh, overall the uh, the appearance is really nice. Mm -hmm. So it's a, the sizes are what I expect. Very tall. I mean, especially yeah. on me, it's like yeah, <laughs> up to my shoulder practically. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to get a lot of drawer space, and so yeah. um, and we had to kind of alter our original plan. Originally, plan this was going to be up on that wall, and then we got to balance it on either side, but. Um, I, re I remeasured, taped it out. This is a really big um, mm -hmm. dresser, so so it fits better now because we've got our steam generator over there, which will be covered up um, with a cabinet as well. So mm -hmm. so I think it fits well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But but there are a few things that are amiss. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, not all the drawers uh, slide in very easily. <laughs> what? But, so. One thing I've noticed is the drawer guides on the on some of the drawers are they're not even tight. See, I mean the mm -hmm. screws are loose, so I'm gonna have to go through and fix. Probably have to re-drill new holes mm -hmm. in these other spaces here mm -hmm. because these ones are probably too big. Yeah, um, and that's why uh, some of our clothes are still not in the <laughs> yeah <laughs> not in the drawers yet because some of the drawers aren't closing properly. Exactly, and and you know all the. All these drawers should be the same size. Mm -hmm. So, um, but there's a few that are, that the, the guys are loose, so we're gonna have to fix that. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that a lot of the, I don't know if it's cause it's a, a rustic piece of wood, but um, a lot of the drawer faces are cupped. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're not perfectly flat. And so, yeah. So, eh, it's not too big of a deal. It's, you know, it's rustic wood, so. Right. Um, so. And then uh, we had some, <coughs> some challenges with the shipping. Yeah, I went over that. Okay. Yeah, Good. so I showed it. <laughs> the poor, <laughs> the poor uh, wood pallet that was supporting 750 pounds. Yeah, and what they, on their website, they actually have a YouTube video, and they boast how well their packaging is. And well. And they've apparently had some challenges with their shipping department. That's why it's been delayed. They don't have very many employees, apparently. But mm -hmm. um, uh, The other challenge was customer service. They, they don't call you ever <laughs> um, to give you status of your, of your product. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I had to call them constantly to, to get an update. Yeah. Um, and the other thing I wanted was a gallon of stain so that we could build other cabinets and, you know, have a nice... Uh, part on top for the clo hanging clothes or on the side and get it all matching colors but they want a hundred dollars just for a gallon of stain I'm like come on so <laughs> looks like walnut stain to me yeah <laughs> so I mean we had to wait six months five and a half months for our product and then mm -hmm. you know, I mean I would have paid 50 bucks but a hundred a hundred that's 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 top end log home stain is a hundred mm -hmm. bucks a gallon yeah <laughs> so, but anyway but it fits nice yeah. in here, and then what's left is designing the the hanging elements right. for the closet. And some some cubbies for shoes, maybe or mm -hmm. sweaters. Mm -hmm. um, re adjusting the lights, so well, that's uh, a brighter light fixture in here. Yeah. Uh, the outlet is uh, down here behind it, so I'm going to move it. So it's up here, so we can do charging of our phones and mm -hmm. other devices up right on top of the 
yeah. the surface here. So yeah, we just have the one bulb which isn't too bright. That's why I've got this one plugged in so we can right. see a little bit more. But and a brighter light in the closet would be nice. Yeah. So For, what we'll probably end up doing because we need to change the lights on the staircase. Right. Let's use, let's take that fixture and put it in here. Yeah. It's got three different so, lights that we can direct. Right. We can point at either side of the uh, closet there. So, so. Uh, maybe some indirect lighting when we get some covers on the top, we can have, you know, lights just shine up and give some little mood kind of lighting. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. but, yeah. Uh, but I, eventually we will, once we get these in position, we'll, I will screw them to the wall. Oh, okay. So that there's no way that they can move. So. Yeah. Well, they're at pretty. At least a couple screws. They're pretty heavy duty. <laughs> yeah. So for sure. So. so. Right. But there's room over here. So we can, you know, the door doesn't have to close completely back to the wall. So we can do at least 12 inches of cubbies. So we can have a whole hanging section here, mm -hmm. you know, low hanging and some cubbies going up. So we'll figure out how we want to design that. Mm -hmm. So and currently all my hanging clothes are hanging on the back of the yeah. closet door. <laughs> and mine are still downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Just a, a couple more things left to, to kind of round out the closet, but this is definitely a good start. Made a huge difference in the look of the room and definitely, definitely. pleased for the most part that we finally have our furniture and we finally <laughs> put our makes, clothes away. Also makes a huge difference when we take all the junk that was in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, two well, holes in there. Yeah. But yeah, it really does. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, let us know what you think about the dresser drawers. Take care. All right, bye.